they're just everywhere like hopping out of these cornfields and I hit a buck. Well, I'm fine, but like the Denali is like not fine. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, this is not my channel, but it is being hijacked. I'm Jack's wife and welcome to the vlog. If you followed along, we are the prank masters. He got me super good last time. He took my Jeep off-roading, literally shattered my windshield. I didn't even notice that he lifted the Jeep. But today, I'm heading to the gym on the weekends. Jack hangs out with little Jack and I'm able to kind of go get some time in while I'm on maternity leave. I figured it was the perfect opportunity to take the Denali, which is not an unfamiliar request. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, can I take the Corvette or hey can I take the Denali and I am going to get him back big time I'm so so excited I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog I hope we get him big time I hope his reaction is priceless and heading to the gym and I am going to tell him that I hit a buck with his Denali I packed my fur vest ketchup and I printed <laughs> I don't know why I think I'm so funny. Maybe this actually isn't funny, but like I feel like it's hysterical. And then I printed a picture of like an animated buck from like the Disney Channel. I stapled it onto the fur vest. And so my idea is, I'm gonna bring you guys along for all this. I'm gonna swing by the side of the road. I'm gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna Google how to do that because I'm not really sure I know how to do it on this truck. And I'm gonna stick the fur vest with the picture of the deer in the hood. And I brought ketchup. I have no idea if that ruins car paint. I also googled that and it said that it didn't if you washed it off right away and I texted Sean from Peachbody to make sure that I wasn't going to like completely ruin the Denali because that would be like a prank gone terribly wrong and I'm going to write got ya across the hood of the truck and this is the missus with a channel takeover I am the prank master extraordinaire today is about to get fun I'm not really good at this whole camera stuff and I really don't know what I'm doing oh, no other cars come because I'm not really good at driving this it's just so beautiful it's kind of like been really years ago we started this kind of prank thing. I think that I'm the prank master but Jack always finds a way of like getting me back and making it just like hysterical. I'm really hoping that I get him. I think he's probably still in his pajamas so you guys will get like a real raw version of Jack. It's gonna be hysterical. I hope he has a hat on because his hair is wild in the morning. Okay guys bear with me. I'm really not the best at knowing what to do um, but I literally just googled how do you pop the hood of a 2020 Denali? And I'm gonna quickly show you guys my little kit. So I'm really only 5'4", and this truck is very tall, so I brought my step stool. Here's the fur vest. I stapled this adorable buck on it, and I ripped the antler an accident. I'm gonna tell him that I hit the deer so hard that the antler flew off. I brought ketchup. That's what I'm gonna write got you with. Yeah, here are the supplies. I just cannot. Like, I kinda wanna frame this in his office if this video goes well. I'm gonna watch this video. I'm going to learn how to pop the hood of the Denali. Oh, we're gonna have some fun here. This little lever right here with the icon lever. right here. I'm just gonna pull. Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh my God, it's so heavy. I think I got it, okay. Nice. Oh. We're in business, people. I know how to pop the hood. I have the supplies. And most importantly, I'm getting you back, babe. All right, guys. And I am back. Nothing better than a great workout and a super good sweat. Anywho, I'm about to call Jack and let him know I'm on my way home. Just check in with him and the little man. And then in about 10 minutes, I'm going to stop, do the prank, and call him back. All right, here we go. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I'm sitting here with little Jack. We're just chilling. Oh, wait, did he have a good nap? I'm leaving the gym now. I had such a good workout, so I'll see you in like 10 minutes. Okay, I love you. Love you. He has no idea what's about to happen in the next 10 minutes. I'm freaking out. I'm just trying to find a good spot to stop. Park and park. I'm getting ready for the fun. Here we go. Bonus. I had to move quick because I told him I'd be home in 10 minutes. I'm scared. Okay. Hey, Trudy. Hey, what are you doing? Just put Jack up to for his second and third nap of the day. Oh. Uh, yeah, success. I think he's snoozing. Um, okay. Well, I don't want to, like, make you flip out, but I'm going to, like, probably start crying. Why? What's wrong? I hit a deer. Where? On our road. They're just everywhere, like, hopping out of these cornfields, and I hit a buck. Are you okay? 
Well, I'm fine, but like the Denali is like not fine. Of course, like of course. I was out this morning and I don't see anything. Like a freaking deer runs out in front of my wife. Like. As okay, but listen, okay, I've like just. Well, I mean, I'm fine, but like I just like feel really bad. Like I mean, just bring the monitor and come outside i'll be home in like one minute my dad's gonna be like so mad at me because he's always like keep your eye on the cornfields during hunting season because they just jump out i hit Is it so it really bad? oh it's terrible i hit the deer so hard i like broke the antlers off i'm just like really upset because i feel like you're gonna be really mad at me no i i mean look like it like it, these things happen like insurance is there for a reason you know yeah, it's just we just got the new windshield. Like, it's just not a good time with, like, the baby in the house. Like, another insurance claim? I know you're going to be, like, so upset when you see the car. No, no, I'm just glad. I'm, I mean, I'm glad you're just okay. Like, I... That sucks, but, like, it is what it is. Like, we'll, we'll deal with it. It's, like, of all times. It's, like, when I'm in your truck, not my car. But, okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm just, like, do you see me? I'm just, like, passing the neighbor's driveway. All right. Come outside. Oh, now. Come outside. It's like not a good situation. You're just gonna like literally be so upset with me. And I like feel like so freaking bad because it's like a gorgeous Saturday. I got out, I went to the gym, I was having so much fun. What the heck? I hit a deer. That's the deer. Yeah, oh my god, babe, seriously? <laughs> I hit it so hard. It bled everywhere. We don't have buck like that in Pennsylvania. Come on. What does that say? What is that? Is that hot sauce? Ketchup. It smells like ketchup. Babe. You said hot sauce. <laughs> you wrote got you? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Don't mess with me ever again. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> didn't you just get that vest? Babe, that's not even funny at all. Like, I genuinely didn't even care about, like, the truck. Like, these things can be fixed. Okay. I was just worried about you. Like, I didn't want the airbag. I, I didn't know if the airbags went off. I like your slippers. <laughs> I'm over here doing dad duty and you're out here <laughs> planning this plot against me. Oh my God. Just to do a look at the deer. You were even fake crying. You were literally even fake crying. Wow, that's that's really something, babe. Great timing of it all too, because I literally just got out of the woods this morning and I said, there's no deer. I'm not seeing any deer at all. And then I say, of course, I got you one. I'm sitting here standing in our kitchen, drinking my coffee yesterday morning and how many deer are out back? Okay, but I got you your very own. My luck is this is gonna be the biggest buck I get all year at this rate right here, now. Put your hands up, I wanna see if you look alike. <laughs> does this does this look familiar? Oh my god, you're ridiculous. Why don't you lick your finger and give that a taste? No, I'm not Do doing that. That's pets. disgusting. I smell it. I literally smell it. I did Google how to open the hood. Did you Google if ketchup's bad for paint? I did. What'd you find? Not if you get it right off. Not if you take it right off. The ceramic coating will help us out a little bit. Rick. Wait, babe, literally, I'm like in my office this morning after you went to the gym and I'm like, I still left my camera at the shop. I'm like, I have no idea where the hell I put it. So you stole that from me too. <laughs> I had to make sure it was on my <laughs> Is it on right now? I don't think, yeah, REC means recording. Wait, is this, is this like a whole video that you have? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> so this was a whole plan to get me back for what I did with that. My last prank. Yeah, you smashed my windshield. Oh my so God. So I hit babe. a deer for you. I cannot believe she brought you guys along. Wait, show them your hair. I, I just rolled out of the woods this morning. Come on. I really actually think that this is a great touch though. And now, now we have flies eating the ketchup. That's why I asked you if we had a color print. I guess I, I guess I really deserve that. But you know, you really hit me in a spot where I'm like, great, now my wife could be hurt. I'm just like, oh my God. It's probably not the best idea, huh? It was good, it was good. I'm just glad you're okay. I legitimately am so excited to see what it is that you vlogged today. Cause I don't think you've ever in the history of my entire YouTube channel done like a whole video exclusively on your own. So you did like a whole vlog. That is amazing. I'm so proud of you. That's fantastic. Like, okay, yeah, this is karma. Like, all right, yeah, like I deserve this. Like I kind of set myself up for this, but this is kind of creative. I, I like it. I was a little weirded out by something. What? The ketchup? You're like, sweetie, I'm going to take the Denali today. And I'm I like, take, I always ask. And I was like, like okay, like sure. Really like, it. you know where the keys are? Like, do your thing. But yeah, you always get worried about like the wide wheels and just like the size of this thing. Oh my God, babe. You're, you're good. You're good. All right. That's great. So ball's back in my court now. No, this is over. What? I'm back to work. The fun and games is over. No, 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 no. That's, just, Listen, that's not how this works. I love you. Get that's to washing. I'm you not. didn't actually hit a deer. 
Yeah, I did. It's right there. If it wasn't buff, you would have brought the antlers back, right? I can I cannot believe I cannot believe you did this. Like I I am literally at a loss for words, guys. Can you believe this girl right here? This is absolutely ridiculous. Like I was literally inside all morning, just hanging out, parenting, hanging out with little Jack the fourth, and then I got a call, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like she's coming home from the gym. That's pretty expected. And then I got another call. I'm like, why would she be calling me again? Maybe I was thinking you were calling me to like tell me that the Denali had no fuel. Didn't you know, notice I took my step stool this morning? No, I didn't even notice that. What did you? Wait, what did you need that for? I couldn't reach the thing. So you brought the step stool out for, wait, what's the thing? What are you talking about? Well, now we're out of ketchup. I couldn't reach the hood. You brought that to close the hood after you opened it. How did you figure out how to open it? I watched a YouTube video. The hood latch. Yeah, I watched it. Because I don't think you've ever opened any, any hood ever. I said that, and I also said I was embarrassed about it. So I watched a YouTube video. Wow, look at you, prank master flex over here, flexing your creative prank abilities. Don't mess with I was like really, really worried that like you weren't okay. I was trying not to laugh and I was pretending to cry. Oh my God. All right, so so I gotta clean this off now. Are you cleaning it? I'm not doing it. You're not cleaning it? You left me the mess. You're gonna at least take your vest so I don't ruin it? I clean up your mess every day. Ooh, she's throwing those wife blows right now. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Oh my God, satisfaction at its finest. Well, I guess the takeaway here is that, yeah, my wife got me. Oh my God, I, I, I don't know. Now it all makes sense that she was like trying to take my Denali and, and I legitimately even like made eggs after she left. I'm like, all right, I want to throw some ketchup on the eggs because who doesn't do that? And then there was, no, there was no ketchup. I swear that there was ketchup the other day. I don't know. It's all making sense now, guys. But yeah, I'm going to clean up my wife's accident here and we're going to get the Denali nice and clean. I guess it's a good an excuse to do that anyway because uh, yeah, it's just out absolutely filthy i mean literally dirt is everywhere and uh it is absolutely long overdue and before this video ends dream diesel giveaway number 13 also ends tonight at 11 59 p.m eastern standard time 700 horsepower duramax compound turboed and ten thousand dollars cash 10 times entries are live until the end of the giveaway but it closes forever indefinitely october 29th so if you want to get entered to win that thing right there and 10 g's this is your last and final warning i'm looking forward to meeting you when you come to grab your keys and your title for that thing right there. Smash the thumbs up, notification bell, and subscribe button. And uh, well, we'll see you in the next video. I gotta, get, gotta get this thing clean now, buddy. Remember how you told me you were having a relaxing Saturday? Yeah, is that? Get not to anymore?